you very much, Registrar, Council Chair, Professor Isia Jaba, Vice Chancellor of UNE, Vice Chancellors of sister universities that are here, Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Municipal Chief Executive, Nana Fiapre Hene of Brimpong, Chairman Ponsa, Representative of Nana Sunyai Hene and the Sunyane Traditional Council, and Reps of Nsuatre Traditional Council. Maybe in order not to commit a crime for leaving some other people out, let me borrow what I just learned. I will continue the rest by standing on the earlier protocols. I have seen that by resolution of anything that might happen in future. So, Vice Chancellors, you are welcome. Today, I'm happy to be here and to confess Parliament around 10 a.m. and we closed in the morning at 2 a.m. So I was wondering how I could get here before this program starts. Unfortunately for me, um, I had a flight which did me a favor by dropping me. So that's how come I could join you. And that is the main reason why my, some of my other would also especially my colleagues make it because we closed very late uh, early this morning. But to confirm that it was just yesterday that we caught the umbilical cord of UNE. But listening to the means that indeed Perhaps what it took some others who are taking a proper number of years to achieve. So I will not be surprised, as um, the foundation vice chancellor rightly said, take a much shorter time to catch up with the other established universities. And now I want to assure you that is going to happen. The Minister for Health presented a memo to Cabinet and the subject matter was to seek the permission of Cabinet so that the Sunyani Regional Hospital is upgraded into a teaching hospital. This request was not only accepted by Cabinet, but Cabinet also added a proviso that the Minister of Health should work with the Minister of Education so that a medical school is established at UNE. When the Vice Chancellor visited me in my office, I read to him, even though not very ethical, I read to him a portion of the minutes of 
cabinet which stated exactly what I said. So he knows that what I'm saying is a fact and it is going to happen. I would therefore urge the council and the vice chancellor to expedite action, work with the minister of education to let this dream come into fruition. I would love that perhaps if by the end of this year, a public announcement is made on the establishment of the medical school, that will also be very, very. I am also aware of the tireless effort of the leadership of this institution in trying to make sure that the has secured to build a permanent campus for this university. As we speak, we have worked together for well over one year to secure funding for the establishment of the Nusuatre campus. And the funds involved is 175 million United States dollars. The value for money is about being complete and when completed, we can have a campus that can be equal to any other university that you can take off in Ghana and in West Africa. So, yes, indeed, things are being slow, but we want to get it right and get it right so that we wouldn't have to do certain things again. And I will want to use this opportunity to thank uh, the Vice Chancellor. I think he's one person that has been more engaging than any other person I know in my life. That the success of a university is not determined by how sharp its products are alone, but how good and how resourceful its faculty members are. So I have also decided that I'm going to award the best teacher, oh, no, let me say best lecturer, whether lecturer or a teacher, you are still imparting knowledge. So I, I don't know when that will be. This evening, yes. So when the occasion comes, uh, whoever will be introduced to me as the best lecturer will also receive his award. And then I am going to have a personal foundation for the school. And that I will also contribute to the seed fund. But what I will do then is that I will use my seed fund to leverage from my colleagues and friends, both in politics, business, and academia, to get funding to also support the foundation. So that one too, in the evening, I will announce that. So in my own small way, this is what Mr. Vice Chancellor, I'm doing, together with the lobby that I'm doing to help you get the monies to build your new campus. But I want to see you next. We are celebrating 10th anniversary. Perhaps the next major anniversary that we'll celebrate will be uh, our 20th anniversary before our Silver Jubilee. I will want to believe that all these things I'm talking of, we will see them in reality by the time we are celebrating our 20th anniversary. Or far before that time. But it will require all of us working together. Nananum will have to give off part of their land for the school. Our teachers will continue to convince everybody that all that we are fighting to bring to the school, indeed, it is not just because perhaps somebody wanted to be here, but you, it is deserving of you. And then we also want the vice chancellor the council and the registrars to also show leadership, which I'm convinced you're already doing. And then together with all of us, I want to believe that we will reach there. I wish you all the best on your 10th anniversary, and I pray that the good Lord will guide us in the years ahead. Thank you, and God bless all of us.